Ah, uh, hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good night. Happy Wherever you are, welcome to the Saturday matter. stream. That's right, isn't it? I just finished a bacon sandwich and I've just had a custard tart and now I'm just washing it down with a cup of tea. That's a good lunch. AV's 10, that'll do, won't it? That'll do. I've got crumbs on me now. I'll hear the bearded one. Yes. <laughs> the Dr. Mods guy. Thank you for two months. Uh, I'm new to this subbing thing, but I hope it benefits you in the best way. Uh, keep up the good work, you nutter. Thank you, Dr. Mods guy. Yep, subbing definitely helps me keep doing this. Pays the bills. Speaking of which, Mr. Jules has just dropped a sub on. Thank you very much, Jules. He's gifted a sub to Krusty Dad, Araxis99, Hammer of Sleep, uh, Gomax Go, and Kazoist. Welcome to the house, guys, courtesy of Jules. Thank you, Jules. And welcome back, Charge Cookie. Time is flying. Thanks for the passion and work. 46 months, dude. That's nearly four years. How are you, Puel? What? <laughs> Mr. Swede. Welcome to the Nut House. Saw a video the other day when you was driving in Finland. You said uh, you like Jean Michel Jarre because you drive in Finland. You have not heard of Kebu, Finland's answer to Jarre. I've never heard of Kebu, no. I haven't. Dog will love bacon crumbs. Welcome back. He's not here. <laughs> Yeah, that's my Spanish brother. Sarcastic Llama, 25 months. Thought I'd missed the resub deadline, but caught it just good 25 um, months. Here's to many more. Thank you, dude. Anyway, thanks for the gift, Mom, sub mom Jules. He's awesome. Cool, cool, bro, did you say? Hmm. Kebu, Kebu. I need to remember that. Uh, say that you've been a gifted sub, you have been able to join the convoy. If you're a sub at the point where the uh, application goes in, and you're a sub at the point where the uh, convoy takes place, then you'll be okay. So the applications close. I then get all the list of applications, look through the list. Anybody that's not subbed gets removed. Simple as that. Right there and then gets removed. Okay. Then, when the convoy happens, I recheck the list. Anybody that's not subbed gets removed. Happy anniversary, Nata. I was just saying it's bacon crumbs. <laughs> ah. Anyway, let's talk to Jack. Jack! Hello. It's your fault. What's my fault? Everything. Wow, thanks. <laughs> so rude. Multiplayer. Create game. Welcome back. Park Welcome. Fernando. Yeah, come on, I've been sat on this menu for ages. Serve visibility friends, allow vehicles, yes. Start game. Now, I've not heard the intro to this, so if there's any talking, I'm going to shut up and listen to it. Okay. Because I've not spawned into this map yet. Uh, Santo, welcome back. Hola, ¿qué tal? Escuchame. Welcome to Parque Fernando. We'll keep this brief before my niece's pendejitos act up again. Oh, I hate it when my pendejitos act up. Oye, deja esto. Si la escuchaste, te que pedirle disculpas. No me mandé fruta. I'm like a baby. Okay, down to business. You came highly recommended as the warden to turn this slice of wild Patagonia into a world-class hunting reserve. Naturally, I expect you to hit the ground running, even though this is your first time here. What? Stretch your legs out. I'll start you off with some routine responsibilities. You can do this in any order. I don't care as long as you do the jobs well. I try not to micromanage. Well, not too much. To get the lay of the land, you'll want to go to the nearest lookout tower. Mark on your GPS. Climb on up and take in the view. Easy. There's also a hunting outpost nearby, and I'd like you to prepare it for upcoming guests. My gaucho friends do all the heavy lifting with the outpost. You just need to put on the finishing touches. 
bring things up to the standard of a professional hunter, then bring them up a little more. Piste. If you're reaching for a hunt, you can harvest some game for the construction crew building our central lodge. I like to keep the people who work for me fed and fed well. It helps them stay loyal. Our chef can prepare anything but a puma. See what you can find in the area. I'll chime in to help if you need it. I'm, I'm wondering if she's finished. Still got in mind. Oh, did you hear the Spanish guitar? That was nice. Jules, that was my birthday gift to, uh, to the chat. Happy birthday, Jules. Thank you, dude. Welcome back, Santo. Wow, that is a noisy door. Welcome back, Nata. Okay, I think she's done. Don't you hate it when your pentahitos act up? Yeah, it's a bit of a problem for me, as I'm getting on in the years. Happy anniversary, Nata. Weapon eight, what was that? A puma? I'm not hunting a puma. Uh, I think the puma hunts us. Chasing, it says. Yeah, they added in all these new, um, <clears throat> like, animal movement types, like hunting and chasing and stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, Speaker, if uh, you put hashtag charity on your bits, then some of it goes to Twitch's um, charity thing this month. I guess we've got to head up to the outpost then. Uh, let's look at the map. So, what, the lookout point to the east? I'm getting my hand cannon out. I don't trust that puma. Oh, yours has got a scope. Yeah, that's because I've got kills with it. I to get me a scope. Oh, yeah. It's such a grind getting a scope on a pistol, but when you get it, it's just nice. These flowers? Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, nice field. What is this, a kind of lavender? Looks like it. Is it a good map, my crewney? How big is it? Can I turn Jack's volume up a bit? Hang on. Um, Happy anniversary, Zata. <laughs> That's as loud as... Something. I forgot how loud that was. Yeah, that happened as I switched back into the game after bringing your volume up. <laughs> Oops. Mr. Cool Patrick, while I'm home, I'll uh, ill, so might as well watch the stream. Dude, get well soon. At least you'll be well before Christmas. Look at it that way. The worst one is when you get ill, like, just before Christmas Eve, and you're like, great, now I'm going to be ill all through Christmas. This way, you get ill now, get it over with. Going down this path, I feel like we're taking part in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I can't help thinking there's raptors on either side of us. Oh, God, don't. Like we're being funneled into a kill zone. Clever girl. Oh, you see them down there. At the bottom, at the end of the pop, at the end of the lavenders, whatever it is. Yeah, I see them. And then they just like run off when they saw us, I think. Yeah, there's two more by the bigger tree in the middle as well. You buy the Elmer's plug all the way through Christmas. Did you Oops. whistle then? I forgot the X's whistle. Quite a loud whistle. It is. Hundred XP lookout points unlocked. Black Ops Four is making me want to smash my PC monitor. Why do you play that game, dude? It just makes you angry. There's a hut to the north. I can see. So we yeah. Should, should look look to get that one locked in. Doc Definitely. Holiday, thank you very much for a thousand bits with a hashtag charity. Thank you, dude. Uh, 
Okay, then I put my binoculars on. What if you could survive jumping? Possibly. Can I hear ducks? Yes. Is there duck hunting on this map? I don't, I don't know exactly what animals are on this map, except a puma and a water buffalo. Okay, where did I put the... I don't see any. Okay, now I might mind binoculars. Possibly three. One. Duh. So I have one as rifle, and then two as secondary, and three as binocs. Yeah, I used to do that, but in the end I worked out the binoculars was better on one for me, and two for rifle, three for secondary. Um, apparently there are ducks. Oh, cool. See anything? Yes. Spot it then. Can you see that? I ain't got a rifle anyway. Uh, nope. It's really far away down the valley. Let's go to the hut. I need to think about what weapon we're going to take out and shoot. Yep. A mule deer. People from the USA love to brag about how great their mule deer hunting is. Like is eel. <laughs> but after they see the deer at Parque Fernando, they are not bragging anymore. World class bags and those are so abundant here. If we don't hunt them, they'll overpopulate and starve the other animals who graze here. Because <laughs> these boludos eat everything. There you go, there's too many mule deer. Sure we can sort that problem out? I just heard something up ahead that sounded a bit like a puma. <laughs> Gaming bro, five months already. Thank you for the great content. Thank you for five months, Gaming bro. Game of Vashaus, thank you for 30 months. Mr. Santa, welcome back. I think that's covered everyone. Uh, will you be using the Santa Trucker skin? Seems very appropriate now. The Santa Trucker skin. Are you on about Euro Truck or something else? That's a scary noise from a mule deer. I'm genuinely worried if we're going to get attacked by a puma. Yeah, I'm not liking this long grass. I'm really like searching all around as we're walking. Maybe at Christmas we'll do that. Uh, Skanoodle, I'm not really sure what your game is, mate, but can you not? <laughs> Thanks. She reminds you of someone from Jurassic Park. I reckon that they did that on purpose. Because it's like the South American map. They went, hmm, Jurassic Park. Let's get somebody who sounds like that. The island of Los Cinco Mertes. <laughs> Have you had post yet today? Uh, not sure about today. There's a few boxes on the ground here. How do I identify yours, Custard? I have no intention, Jonah, of growing a Santa beard. <laughs> Let's be very clear. In November, I was accused of doing November. In December, I'm now being accused of being Santa. Bob! Thank you for the delivery and the Airbus sound might. Oh, there's a hunter range, look. Nice. Look at that. It's actually a range with like pictures of animals as well. Nice. Reset personal score. Can have a proper competition. Infinite arrows, I like infinite arrows. I really need to get one of those bows. Oh, this is so cool. You can actually, like, practice your arrow drop and stuff. Yeah. I think I remember it being... It, it's saying that there was a proper archery range. It says custom box on top. Okay. 
Open yours on Christmas Eve only. It's from Amazon uh, gift wrapped. Neil Lynch. I can even shoot from up here and there's a think, personal score reset. I think I might have seen yours, Neil Lynch. Try up in the tower. What's that? Try in the tower. Oh, what? Well, up in the, in the deer stand thing? Yeah. Nice. Look at this. I like on the right there it shows you like how far away it is 20 meters so that's 20 meters there if i shoot that one it says 35 meters score 10. so i know that like 35 meters i need to be just below the first pip about there-ish that one there let's try that that's 100 meters and it didn't even hit Try that. I'm thinking this doesn't have the range for 100 meters. Oh! Wow, I just hit it with an arrow at 100 meters. That's actually quite tricky. What's up, Jack? We ship Jack. Just outside the tent. Let's try that. Ooh, that drop. Benner. So it's time to hunt some wabbits. Now we only need Rome so that we can hunt him. <laughs> 50 meters. So if we go like that, set one dot down at 50 meters gives us right. Okay. So it's about one pip for a hunt for 50 meters. That one bar, 20 meters, no drop. It's pretty cool, this, I like this. Wait, score zero? You what? <laughs> wow, that went left. Oh yeah, the wind. Look, the wind's blowing right to left. If I aim like that. Blimey, that is so tricky. <clears throat> that wind really affects the arrow. Yeah. Or the bolt. Molly, boss, I have Teddy with me. He's asked to say thank you and hopes you have a nice Christmas. Have a good Christmas, Teddy. You're welcome, mate. You are welcome. I hope you put it to good use, Teddy. Oh, you can actually go inside this lodge. Give a thousand bits if you can hit a real duck with a crossbow. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Oh, there's a cash here. Um, drive night. I'm not gonna have a conversation with you about shooting plants and animals. If it's not your thing, just go and watch something else for a bit. It's cool. Welcome back. What? What is this thing? Is this not something we can construct? No. I'm not sure. It does feel very much like we're playing uh, construction sims, doesn't it? This is a, this is actually a really really cool lodge. Like they've upped the game here. It feels almost like the kind of lodges you used to get in um, in the original Hunter, and you can actually like put all of your trophy antlers and stuff on the walls. Yeah, I mean normally you get like a wooden thing with a bed in it, but this is next gen. I like how the lamp upstairs is made out of antlers. <laughs> yeah, it's a trophy lodge. It's amazing, is what it is. Uh, Pepsi Fever, thank you the bits. Did you go to see Mortal Engines? I did. What did you think about it? If I never see it again, I won't be bothered. You're going to go and see it tonight. You and your family must have a very nice Christmas, by the way, Squirrel Ross. Pepsi Fever, maybe you'll get more out of it than I did. Me and Mrs. Squirrel sat through it and kind of came out and went... That's my. That's literally how I felt about the film.
if you're not spamming caps you think what's fine drive night so uh, drive night i'm, I'm going to say this one last time so the, the general way that we That's work recast, is if you. you're in chat trying to disrupt people's enjoyment then you're going to get timed out it's that simple it doesn't matter what you're saying or whether you're using caps or not if you're going to disrupt people's fun you're going to get timed out so let's just drop the subject and move on enjoy the stream wow there's a massive double bed in here and a wagon wheel on the wall Sinpup, thank you for 25 months. Hope you're well. Just got home from work, so you're a bit tired, Jersek. No problem, sir. Is it the 600 GR bolts you use? Uh, uh, where's the gar where's the um, where's the supply thing? Is that where you're at now? Yeah, there's kind of a what's new that? version of it in here. Um, let me see. I can actually buy any bolts right now because I've got no cash. I've got four. Mm, I've got all three actually. Three hundred, four twenty, and six hundred. Right. Okay. So yeah, you kind of pick and choose which one you want. I think. Like right, the six hundred. Did you say they've got a bigger one? Uh no, it was the six hundred. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Six hundred, four twenty, and three hundred. Yeah, the 600 what you use against Cape Buffalo and that kind of size. The 420, right. if I remember, was um, kind of mid-sized animals, not moose, more like, but not deer. I think 300 was the smaller stuff like deer. 420 is like the mid, I think. I miss your bitch, Jules. Oh, bought myself Lint Lindor, assorted chocolates for my birthday. I'm not a fan of Lint, Jules, um, but if that's your thing... That's your thing. Ammo sites. So have they got any new weapons? Um, I don't think they did new weapons with this update. I think they did um, a new skin or something. An Axis Deer Screamer. It creates the sound of an Axis buck screaming, a screaming that indicates the willingness to fight, breed, and generally dominate the area. If you scream like an Axis, both does, does and bucks may heed your call. That sounds like fun. Yeah. That's man. Still can't buy the Rhino handgun. 48. It's like I need 3,200 handgun score. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot, that is. Wackaday, how you doing, sir? Today's a very chill Saturday. Gonna stay at home and chill. Why not? Why not, dude? There's a new caller for access, dear Jimmy. Let's have a look at the callers. Axis dear screamer caller. Canada Goose Caller, the Red Deer Caller, the Predator Distressed Fawn Caller. Blimey, you have to be level 35 to get the Moose Caller. Under decoys, there's some new um, decoy ducks. Decoy ducks, cinnamon teal. <laughs> Four grand. Yeah, family are well, thank you, Wackaday. Sense, what have we got under sense? Oh, level 31 for whitetail deer scent. I guess you'll have some given to you for free, maybe? Maybe. I normally do, anyway. You got a driving lesson at two. Good luck, TG. Enjoy. The Beacon Deluxe Deer Caller. I don't think we're going to see any fawns around here, so we'll ignore that one. Elk scent, mule scent. Compatible items. What? It's 
See, I don't know if any of these deer scents that we have will work on the... Was it an Axis deer that we saw? Yeah. I uh, know, it was... Um... Oh, what was it called now? Game with an M. Deploying multiple decoys will increase the probability of birds landing. The effect of multiple decoys in the same area stacked up to a maximum of 20. Best used in conjunction with the Beacon Deluxe Duck Caller. That's what it says about cinnamon teal. The mule, mule deer. Yeah. Was that what we saw? Mule deer? Mule deer, yeah, that's it. Mule deer. Four grand. We'll have one of them. Oh, that bought ten, didn't it? And I bought ten drakes and ten hen. So we've got both. Scents. Mule deer scent. We'll have some of that. Fifteen hundred. I take it we're deer hunting then. The beacon deluxe. I don't know. I'm just looking through stuff. I'm not sure what we're going to go and hunt here because I don't know what animals are in what area. I really have no idea. What kind of gun are you going to go and hunt with? Um, I still only have the Ranger on my PC profile. But it's effective enough. 12 grand for a Patagonian. I do have some shotguns for like duck hunting though. Patagonian gaucho outfit. 12 grand. Is there anything new down here? Don't see anything. Um, what should we shoot with, guys? Take the Beacon Deluxe. Benner. The Bacon Deluxe. Are you on about the caller? That one. I've already bought it. I'd like to buy another one. I already own that. I think it's just cosmetics. I think. That's why I'm reluctant to spend 12000 on it, you know? We've got the Burklaw Light. We've also got the Crosspoint C6165 Warden. See, I've got um, it's the range I'm lacking at the moment. What are you? What are you going with? For gun, I'm going with my Ranger. I might switch it out. <clears throat> I might do. I might remove the handgun. Crossbows are OP. I love crossbows. No, yellow belly. You. That's the um, the original hunter was a paywall. Hunter Call of the Wild is completely different. It's not a paywall. But you do have to play it to like unlock stuff by level and like money, but you're not paying to do it. Some of the bits and pieces of DLC, like <clears throat> um, the maps of DLC, which is fine. You've got to make money somehow. And then there's like some bonus items like um, the 4x4 quad bike. That's uh, a DLC, but it's like two pounds or something. Let's get rid of that out the backpack. I think maybe... Yeah, I've got the small backpack on. Olive outfit. Savannah Warden. With a large backpack. I only got a Glacier backpack. Increased noise, 7. Additional carrying capacity, 9. Looks like the old coolers are pretty useful. Seven mil's a good one for this reserve. <clears throat> what, the, the, um, this beast? The seven mil Regent Magnum.
Oh, did it, Pepsi? No, I didn't see that. I didn't see a Frosty Mod. Where has it been posted? Which gun are you taking, did you say? The Ranger. The 243? Yeah. Quite a small calibre, though, isn't it? Yep. Good, uh, still quite effective, though. Oh, the 7 mil's insane. Yeah, the Rhino handgun is... <laughs> the, the problem with the 7 mil... Mm, let's take the 243 and try that. I don't want to, like, completely uh, over overkill, because if we're in the starter area, we probably don't need the 7 mil initially. I'll take the 7 later. I'll take the polymer tip. If I can see anything bigger, I can always put the 600 gram bolts in there and go with the crossbow and get closer. Sights, uh, let's see. 8x16, 4x4. Laws, what we're going to need. An Axis Deer Screamer Caller. I don't know if we're going to see any of this stuff. We're not going duck hunting, there's no point taking them. Sent eliminator. Got my pink tent, that's the main thing. I think you might be able to get away with a smaller backpack, you know. I need 19. I think we should be able to get away with a smaller backpack. Okay, range finder bolt two four three two four three polymer. Um, what site do we go for? Let's try four to eight. Axis deer on four. Go and shoot this gun, I say. Where's the, uh, the range gone? Back that way. Oh, thank you, Costa. Frosty Winter Weather Mod version 7. Works at 133. Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad he released that ahead of Christmas. Kick on that. Okay, it's up to 100 meters, it's like there's literally no draw. Moving target. It won't let me shoot you. <laughs> Invalid target. Hey, present. Yeah, we'll get Frosty Mod out tomorrow. Okay, so where do we want to go? There's plenty of watering holes around. It's the time of day now. 
8.36 a.m. Southeast and southwest, we've got two big watering holes. Should we go southeast then? Are we going to walk it? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, Jim Ryan, to see you later. No problem, Presley. We all have off days, bro. Best thing to do when you're having an off day, Presley, put the keyboard down. ETS2 needs a bar rail mode. No, it doesn't. Not every game can take a battle royale mode. Look at CSGO. Oh, Drive Knight, welcome back. I thought you'd gone. No, it doesn't tell over. there. They're trying to add battle royale mode into everything, but not everything needs a battle royale mode. Overwatch might get one. It wouldn't surprise me if Overwatch got one next year. I mean, you can kind of expect competitive shooters to try and add a Battle Royale mode because it's like the flavour of the month, right? But outside of competitive FPS games, I'm not sure that's going to work. Can't see any tracks, can you? Not a single one. Looks like a dried up riverbed. Heard a call, mating call from a black book. Did you see the big list of fixes from this last update? Nope. Apparently they fixed all those little annoying errors like the sound not uh, registering properly. Things like that. Interesting. What about like animals teleporting? I don't remember seeing that on the list. Over here somewhere. There's a um, animal thing here, you know, the nesting area. Right. There are antelopes and then there are black bucks. The black bucks were imported here from their native India. I bet if you ask them, they like Patagonia better. The grass, the water, everything is more abundant here. That means larger, healthier blackbacks. Look for males with thick horns, three twists, white spirals, and tips pointing outward if you're searching for the ultimate trophy. Black boat warning call to the uh, northeast. Yeah, just looking to see what this point of interest is. Just ahead of us. Can't see the guy. Supposed to snow here later, fun. It's um, it's chilly here, but I don't think we're gonna get any precipitation. What are we on now? Chelmsford, three Celsius. In fact, it's due to rain starting starting three o'clock. as a ninety percent probability of rain. Uh, magic? I didn't even know it was near a thousand, mate, to be it's honest with you. It's a buildable blind. Okay. Wow. 
chasing Puma to the north. Listen to that. That's scary, that is. I'm guessing he's chasing that buck. Okay. Shall we move down towards the water then? Yeah. I see. I'm thinking maybe we can cross that water at that little um, peninsula bit. Maybe you can walk across that. Yeah, probably. A couple of trees here, but no leaves on at all. They look really eerie. What, the dead ones? Yeah, well, I'm not sure they're actually dead, are they? Look it. Mule deer track. That black book knows we're here. Unless it's warning off a of puma. You hope the bus comes out in 2019, Presley, what do you mean? Yeah, I don't... Firefighter, I don't get why they don't bring that over from the original game. Like, the hunting dog was hilarious. Maybe you can play some FPS one day, this will be great. What did I play last night, Drive Night? FPS. TML Studios. Um, they just released... They just released um, Tourist Bus Sim. Oh, you mean another project, right. We'll see. Shooter with a map like this would indeed be cool. Imagine if Day Z had a look like this. Wow. That sounds close. A mating call. Human mating call. Blimey, that's so cool. That was a male and a female. talking to each other and the wind might be in our favor trying to get a spot I think it's just below the the hill in front of us we're talking like a hundred meters here yeah she's just over that ridge yeah I think there's two of them because that was in a slightly different location, unless it's moving. I think it's moving to the south. And you've got a black buck to the north doing a warning. 420's in there, that should do it. Just don't get eaten. <laughs> become the cat food we'll have to start calling you whiskers I think the grass is quite long round here chances of spotting it are not good uh, see a console operator Down this grassy bank somewhere. It must have moved on. I just want to see one first. That would be cool. I don't want to see it too up close though. Yeah, there's a load of tracks here in front of us. Uh, I tell you what, drive night. Why don't you? Why don't you take a little break? 
Take a breather. Step away from your keyboard. You've been a bit trolley. I think maybe this is your Saturday afternoon entertainment. I have an affinity for pumas. Not just hunting them. I've raised them, rehabilitated them, protected them. I bet we have more pumas per kilometer in this reserve than anywhere else in the Americas. They have a simple philosophy, one which I have applied to my business dealing. See something. Respect the puma, the puma respects you. But this respect the puma one, you get no second chance, Viste? You can get it. Yeah, I see it. I hit it. Definitely hit it. Wasn't the vital, maybe. Didn't see which way it went, though. Let's go and find it. Yep. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> There's male and female puma tracks here. Yeah, there was. There they... definitely was two. Yeah, must have found each other and wandered off. It was next to one of these trees. Ah, oh, here it is, right here. Oh yeah, oh that looks like a vital. vital that hit. is a lot of blood. Yeah, it was like long shot roughly, I think. Hang on, it says non-vital to me. It says vital for me. That's weird. Yes. Bleed right low? What? Yeah, bleed right low, but it's not very low. Why would it have like a massive pile of blood unless it was a vital? I don't know. A lot of that still doesn't seem to work properly, I think. It's bleeding slowly. Down to 50%, so it won't be a long hunt. Oh good, we wouldn't want it to be in pain after all. Hardest creatures kill, worst multi points in the game. Black Barra really... Digital pain. Black Barra pretty difficult, Geoff, because they're so sensitive. Like, their sight and smell is so good. That's weird. I thought I thought I aimed a bit forward of that. That's really weird. The angle that, that round came in wasn't the angle that I could see on screen. It's it about turned. there where you hit it through my binoculars. Maybe a little bit further back. Yeah, I thought I'd hit the fore part a bit more than that. That area is very purple now. Let's go to that peninsula bit and see if we can get across. Get a shave, Tommy. Like yeah, but he's got a beard. Oh, rain. Wait, that's a different kind of rain. That's like a very fine drizzle. It's really quiet as well. Yeah. Is it true that Epic Games is opening a game store like Steam? I think I heard something about that. I don't know. I don't follow it. That. We just got like a little shower, then it stopped. Yeah. The sky in this game is so good. Looks like um, an oil painting. Yeah, you do, Fawn. You do get it for free. It's like a nice tight uh, um, enticement to get it. <laughs> I think they're only doing it because they're fed up of Steam taking 30%. Which is the same reason you've got Origin and Uplay. Yeah, looks like we can get over here. Nice. 
Anything good on the horizon? Expecting there to be a lot around here. Look at the sun reflecting on the water. They even got that right. Yeah. It's amazing what they can get right and then what they can get so terribly wrong. Not seeing much on the banks. Uh, better than identity. What isn't Whiteland? Stormworks is better than identity. 